Welcome back to the shop. Today is day 28 of our 30 day paint and body challenge for the 1978 Datsun 280Z. We've stripped this thing down to bare metal on day one and we've got it all the way back up to where we're at today on day 28. And what we're gonna be doing today is putting the car in sealer. Now, depending on your application and what you're trying to achieve, you may or may not need a sealer. I use a sealer to provide uniform coverage of color prior to applying the base coat. It allows me the opportunity to set up my gun the exact same way that I would when I'm spraying base. Base coats you want to spray very, very thin, and you're only providing enough coverage to change the color before you throw clear coat on top of that. We're doing a base coat clear coat job for this 280Z, so that's very important to get all those settings proper before you start spraying the entire car or panel by panel, whichever you may be doing. But you don't, in either case, you do not want the base coat going on thick. Uh, you want it very, very thin on each successive coat and apply enough coats after they've allowed proper time to flash in between the coats to get the color coverage that you need. And that is all a base coat is trying to achieve is color coverage. You are not trying to cover the entire vehicle um, and make it change appearance. You're just providing enough color coverage to where you can clear coat on top of that and give it one uniform look after the clear coat is applied. So. We're not doing that today, we're applying sealer. I talked about this in a previous video. I try to minimize the amount of products that I keep on hand. That's one reason why I love Southern Polyurethane's products. I only carry two different types of primers. You're gonna hear all the types of primers that are out there from self etching to direct to metal, to epoxy, to 2K, to all these other things. I keep two on hand and that is epoxy primer and 2K urethane primer, that's it because the Southern Polyurethanes, and there are many other manufacturers out there who, who make these claims as well, Southern Polyurethanes epoxy primer can be mixed up as a sealer. So if you use it as a primer, as you would on a direct metal application, you would mix it one to one. So if you wanted to mix up a 24 ounce batch of sprayable material, uh, then you would mix up 12 ounces of epoxy primer to 12 ounces of activator. That will give you 24 sprayable ounces that's ready to go. You would mix that up, you would give it the proper uh, time to induce, which is 30 minutes or longer, uh, and then you would spray that panel and you would move on to your filler work, your, your body work, blocking all that stuff out, and then you would put 2K primer on top of that. Uh, I'm using a gray 2K primer. All that's been blocked out, you've seen that in previous episodes and then we wet sanded it. Now, because we mentioned before, the base coat is so thin, it has the potential to change the color of whatever base coat you're applying. So if you apply a base coat over a white substrate versus a black substrate, you can tell the differences in that base coat in its final product. I want as dark of a color as I can get with this base and I think that's the proper way to be applying this base coat as well. It's a black pearl. I want a black car with the metallic paint and it was applied over a black substrate. So that substrate right now is gray 2K primer and that's the reason for the sealer. So with a gray substrate that we have wet sanded the day prior, we would get a difference in color if we put base directly over that. The other reason you might want to use a sealer is if you have any poke throughs, uh, you shouldn't be getting any bare metal by now in this stage of the game, but if you do, you wanna put epoxy primer, again, back on bare metal to protect it from corrosion and rust in the future.
get any poke throughs of any underlying paint or filler work that you've gotten to during the block sanding or wet sanding phases, you're gonna have two different colors there. And you will see that when you start to apply the base, you'll get variances in the shades of color as you've applied it over a black substrate or a gray or a white filler. So that's something you wanna avoid. And that's the reason we're doing the sealer today to provide one last opportunity to fix all of those little poke throughs of little bitty small parts of filler that came through uh, during the wet sanding process, give it one final uh, good coat. And that's all that's required for a sealer is just one coat. And something that I've talked about in the past is I love minimizing products that I keep on hand. That's why I use Southern Polyurethane's Epoxy Primer. Uh, it has the ability to mix up as a sealer. So it's still one-to-one -one ratio of the epoxy primer to the activator, but when you mix it up as a sealer, same one-to-one -one ratio, but you have the ability to reduce it up to 50%. I only reduce it about 25 to 30% depending on the temperature, but you're trying to get the settings for your gun to be able to spray the base. When you're spraying a reduced epoxy primer, it sprays like base coat should. Uh, so it gives you the ability to go ahead and fine tune your gun settings before you start spraying that expensive base coat paint. Base coat that we're spraying is the Tamco uh, Dotson Black Pearl Paint Coat 638. That runs $400 a gallon and the epoxy primer is significantly cheaper than that. So it's just one step that doesn't really cost a lot of money. It provides that last little layer of uh, capability to provide that good solid color substrate. And because it's an epoxy product over everything, mixed up as a sealer, it gives you that good chemical adhesion when you put that base coat on top of that. So that's what we're doing today using Southern Polyurethane's epoxy primer reduced to spray as a sealer, I'm reducing it from 25 to 30%. And we're gonna be spraying all of these panels and sealing them right before we get ready to spray the base. So hopefully you guys found that information useful. That's why we're putting on a sealer. You may or may not have to put on a sealer, to, just depending on what base coat you're using, whether you're using a single stage or a base coat clear coat application, or if you used black primer. Uh, they do make black 2K primers. So it just depends on the products you're using and also how well you've planned out um, getting to this stage. So if the problem with using a black 2K primer and not a gray is that you wouldn't really know when you sand it through to your black epoxy primer underneath. So you could create problems there. That's the reason I use two different colors. I use black epoxy primer and then I use gray 2K primer. That's typical what you would find in any, any shop environment. So you can pick whatever color you want, but you do want differing colors between the epoxy primer and the 2K primer just to give you the ability to see when you've blocked past the point of where you should be stopping. So hope that helps. Let's keep on rolling on with this day of sealer.
All right, guys, day 28's done. Everything's in sealer. I hope you found that information useful. Hopefully you found it entertaining. If you did, click that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Turn on your bell notifications. That way you get notified just as soon as I get around to posting another video. I appreciate it as always, and I'll see you guys on day 29.